We've definitely matured together. We've grown up together now. This has been 20, 25, 30 years. I'm a member since 1992. It's 27 years. It's unbelievable how quickly the time went. The orchestra in itself was considered to be a bit of a renegade, maybe at the beginning, when we started to play in period instruments, this late repertoire, but now it's almost become a sort of tradition in itself. I think one of the things which is interesting about this group is it's a very international group of musicians. But there is one thing in the spirit which has stayed all, all this time and, and the influence of John Elliott in that is, is quite strong and that's the passion, the risk-taking. People are dedicated to what they do. We get together for these very, very intense bouts of projects. So quite often you won't see one another for several months and then we're straight into the thick of doing these fantastic pieces. I think it's one of the few orchestras who really take an interest in historical performance practice. If I had to take one composer to a desert island, for me it'd be Beethoven. Yeah, Beethoven's music does still seem to speak to people. You've got to be able to play fast, lively, slow, quiet, gentle, sweet as anything, as violent as anything. So it's a very much an adventure and, a, and an experiment. I think that appeals to certain type of players. I mean, I, I personally love the idea of experimenting with music. For me, the energy in playing Beethoven and how he plays with these ideas is really essential. And to play it with such a superb ensemble, such as the Orchestra Revolutionaire Romantique, is such a joy.